good morning. Uh, welcome to uh, the Don Bosco Community Center. Uh, it's a beautiful morning and I think it's fitting um, that we're having a press conference uh, in the shadow of the Don Bosco Community Center. The Don Bosco Community Center uh, was built in 1928. Uh, it was a largely uh, Italian-American immigrant population and at one point it was the epicenter of um, of Port Chester for those Italian immigrants. It was a place that they could come and socialize and find work and actually uh, train in some crafts such as uh, becoming a tailor or um, some, uh, or, or you, can become, you can train to become an amateur uh, prize fighter or boxing. Uh, so almost a hundred years later uh, not a lot has really changed except the immigrants, instead of being Italian-American immigrants, are majority Central American immigrants. And they come here um, for a lot of the same reasons, to socialize, for childcare, for education, for church, obviously, and to find work. Uh, and the Worker Center here at Don Bosco uh, has done an amazing job of not only finding work for workers over the years, but also in protecting those workers when they run into problems, whether it's wage theft or safety or injuries. Um, and I work for CWA 1103 as an organizer. We're right around the corner, practically, and we've partnered uh, on a campaign called No Pay, No Way with the Don Bosco Worker Center. Um, and it's been a great partnership. We're really proud of the work that uh, we do and whatever support we can give to the Don Bosco uh, workers. Um, but that also leads us to um, five worker centers in Westchester uh, have collaborated. Uh, Westchester, Westchester Labor Alliance. Um, and they all have uh, a different story to tell about helping workers in the community. And so you'll hear from each one of them uh, today. Um, but along the way, we've picked up a lot of allies, and it's always important to have allies and friends who support you. And two of them are here with us today, Assemblyman Steve Otis and Assemblywoman Shelley Mayer, and they're going to uh, kick us off. So. It's really a pleasure to be here. It, it's such a, um, a great thing when we get together and stand up for our neighbors and friends and recognize that uh, wage theft is such a serious problem throughout our county and if we work collectively we can actually begin to uh, put a dent on it and working with law enforcement working with our friends in labor and thank you CWA 1103 and, and thank you the Don Bosco Center thank you to all of the partners of uh, Alianza Laboral de Westchester because we are really sending a message that Westchester belongs to all of us and we're going to see that all of the laws that apply to workers apply to every worker. Every worker is entitled to the protection of the labor law and working together we can ensure that that happens and when there are violators that they get punished and we send a strong message to our employment community, to our labor community. We are united and we're going to protect all of our friends and neighbors who are working to make our community great. So I'm thrilled to be here. It's my pleasure to work closely with Catholic Charities in the city of Yonkers, which I represent. And I'm so pleased today that we're all joined together to fight for all of our friends and neighbors to make sure that the labor law applies to every single worker and every single employer is held to that standard. Thank you again, and let's go on and win some more battles. Thank you so much. Well, a couple of years ago, I joined many of you when we started the, the uh, No Pay, No Way uh, campaign. And it is so important because wage theft, it's not just an economic crime, it's a moral crime. You don't have people come and do a day's work and not pay them what they're supposed to get paid. And so we have a movement here that has started from the religious community, the social activist community, and the labor community. And I always want to give a special shout out to the communications workers because they've been at the center of this and understand this is an issue that doesn't affect their members. This is an issue that they feel about because they are involved in helping working people everywhere. And that is 
to be applauded. So let's do a, a special round of applause for Communications Workers of America, our local here in Dorchester. But as, uh, as my colleague Shelley Mayer said, it's about, we can have laws on the book, books, we need enforcement, we need vigilance. And so one of the things that this movement um, here in Dorchester and now around the county is letting people know that we're watching, we're looking, we're going to pay attention, and we're going to make sure that people get paid what they are due. This is a very important moral cause and a cause for people who do a day's work should get a fair day's pay. Congratulations to everybody here who's on the front lines, all the organizations and individuals that are helping. You are saints and we are doing an important thing to help make sure that people are treated fairly. Thank you very much. I have sainthood. Um, again, thank you, Assemblyman uh, Steve Otis and Assemblywoman Shelley Mayer for having the courage to always support us and showing great leadership. Um, next, we'd like to bring up Gail Vidales from the Community Resource Center, and she's going to speak about the history and mission. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Gail Vidales. I am the co-executive director of the Community Resource Center, also known as the Hispanic Resource Center, in Mamaroneck. And the Westchester Labor Alliance was established in 2012 by six organizations with a common vision to tackle issues of wage theft and worker exploitation. The collaborators are Don Bosco, workers in Porchester, Community Resource Center, also known as Hispanic Resource Center in Mamaroneck, Neighbors Link in Malkisco, Obreros Unidos, Catholic Charities of New York, of Yonkers, United Community Center of Westchester in New Rochelle, and the Empire Justice Center in White, White Plains. Our mission is to work together as members, as equal partners, to educate empower and advocate for the fair treatment of low-wage workers. You, you ask yourself, exploitation in Westchester County, in an affluent community where our workers are threatened by uh, employers uh, in terms of, how are they threatened? They are threatened by uh, by not allowing them to come forward, to speak up and say, they owe my wages, I need to make a claim. They're threatened by saying, you don't speak English, you don't speak the language, therefore nobody's gonna listen to you. And you wonder why, why are workers stay in, this, uh, in, their, in their workplace? Why, because it's out of necessity. They find that uh, they need to make ends meet, they have a family to feed, they need to pay for their rent. And so they're, but when the employer just pays them a little bit at a time, so they're, they're hopeful that they will get their full wages paid. Because they see that the demand of work, there's a lot, a lot of work to be done in the workplace. So that's, that's, what re, that's why they remain hopeful. Part of our mission is to educate our workers. And how do we do that? By conducting Know Your Rights um, workshops. In, in these workshops, we uh, teach our workers about what, what are the minimum wage uh, and labor standards in New York. And there's still a lot more work to do. And together as uh, an alliance, uh, we are committed and accountable for making informed, ethical decisions as a group to ensure that our workers are being treated fairly in the workplace. Thank you all for coming out and uh, it's a pleasure to be of service here to the entire community in Westchester County. Thank you, Gail, for uh, the important work that you do. Um, next on the agenda is Anna Aguidello and Lucy Mascoso from United Community Center of Westchester. Good morning, my name is Anna Gudella. I'm with the United Community Center of Westchester. I am the executive assistant to our director, Jacqueline Agudello, and I've been appointed to give a speech today. 
<laughs> a part of the Westchester Labor Alliance, we are all organizations formed to provide our community with essential services to empower and defend the most disadvantaged members of our communities. We advocate for low-income families and individuals and immigrants. We all have common programs and work together to establish them. For example, we have worker centers where we assist workers to get jobs, give them information and workers' rights and responsibilities, hold certified training programs in construction and general industry. These minimize accidents and work to raise awareness to the contractors to ensure more jobs and protection for their employees. We all assist in mediation and the collection of unpaid wages. We provide a large number of other services. Educational programs, case management in areas of social services, domestic violence, English classes for adults, tutoring programs for youth, emergency food, medical assistance, document translation, assistance for the elderly, eviction prevention, assistance with un unemployment insurance, workshops, immigration, and legal referrals. We work together with all local, state, and government agencies to better provide service. Always with the slogan, together we can make a difference. Thank you. Buenos días, mi nombre es Lucina Moscoso. Yo trabajo en United Community Center de New Rochelle. Soy intake specialist en la organización. Ahora mismo voy a tratar de decirle lo mismo que le dijo mi compañera Ana, pero en español. Los miembros de Alianza Laboral de Westchester somos organizaciones todas formadas con el objetivo de brindarle a nuestra comunidad servicios esenciales para empoderar, educar y defender los, los más vulnerables miembros de nuestra comunidad. Abogamos por los, por los inmigrantes y las familias de bajo ingreso. Hay programas especiales en los que todos tenemos en común por el cual nos hemos unido. Centro de Trabajo. Es donde asistimos a los trabajadores para conseguir empleos. Hacemos talleres de capacitación certificada en construcción e industria en general. Así minimizamos los accidentes en los trabajos y concientizamos a los contratistas para que les aseguremos más la protección laboral de nuestros empleados. Perdón, de los empleados. Asimismo, mediación y colección de salarios no pagados. Le educamos para que para que conozcan sus derechos y sus responsabilidades laborales. Todos tenemos un área, todos estamos en el área clave de Westchester. Don Bosco Work Center en Polchester, Nervos Link en Quisco, Community Resource Center en Mamarare, Obreros Unidos en Yonkers y United Community Center en New Russia. Proveemos gran cantidad de servicios incluyendo programas educativos, manejo de casos en el área de social service, violencia doméstica, clases de inglés para adultos y tutorías y otros servicios infantiles. Alimentos de la persona, perdón, ayudamos a personas de la tercera edad, prevención de desalojo, registración escolares, registros para asistencia para seguros de desempleo, talleres, inmigración y referidos. Trabajamos en conjunto con otras agencias locales, estatales y gubernamentales para lograr brindar un mejor servicio, siempre con nuestro eslogan. Juntos hacemos la diferencia en nuestra comunidad. Gracias, pasen buenos días. Thank you, Lucy and Anna of the United Community Center of Westchester. Um, next on the list is uh, Stephanie Rosado from Neighbors Link. <laughs> Hello, good morning everyone. It's a pleasure to be here today. Um, since 2012, the Westchester Labor Alliance members have recovered more than $400,000 in lost wages for unpaid overtime, minimum wage violations, or withholding of old wages. Waste up has ripple effects on our communities and local businesses. Is the inability to go grocery shopping or buy clothing for our families, pay for an electric bill or the monthly rent. Uh -huh. WASTEF also hurts business owners who respect and follow the rules. Everyone is entitled to fair pay and safe working conditions regardless of immigration status. We have a common vision to tackle wage theft and exploitation through educational workshops and trainings on worker rights. Wage theft isn't only about taking someone's money. 
but about robbing someone of their dignity and respect. Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, next is Nancy Fernandez from uh, Community Resource Center of Marinac. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Janet Hernandez uh, from Obreros Unidos Dion. Good morning, everyone. My name is Janet Hernandez from Catholic Charity and the Day Labor Program in Yonkers. Uh, we had the uh, Obreros Unidos de Yonkers. Um, I, I shared this topic with Stephanie from Neighbors Lean. Uh, I would like to tell you in Spanish. Eh, desde el año 2012, Alianza Laboral ha recuperado 400 mil dólares en robo de salario. Que incluye no pago de salario mínimo, el de no pagar horas extras, el de también detener ilegalmente ciertos... Eh, 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 con el robo de salario, ciertos topics que se hace del, del robo de salario, pero también el del fracaso absoluto de no pagar nada por un trabajo que ya un trabajador ha realizado. Nos hemos dado cuenta durante estos cinco años que el robo de salario tiene efectos secundarios en nuestras comunidades y en, en los negocios locales y también en la economía local. Porque un trabajador que gana su salario va a gastar su dinero en su mismo lugar donde ellos viven. Afecta a todos los negocios locales y especialmente a aquellos negocios que están haciendo lo correcto y pagando bien a sus trabajadores. Al afectar todo esto a la comunidad, no tienen dinero para comprar alimentos, ropa, pagar la luz, pagar la renta. Queremos decir a los trabajadores que tienen derechos ellos para un, un pago de seguro y un pago fijo. Alianza, Alianza Laboral ha estado trabajando durante estos cinco años en prevención para evitar la explotación y abusos en los lugares de trabajo a través, a través de talleres educativos como conozcan sus derechos. Pero también Alianza Laboral ha estado haciendo un acompañamiento a los trabajadores, enseñando cómo lograr recuperar su salario. El robo de salario durante estos cinco años nos hemos dado cuenta que no solamente significa el de no pagar a alguien, sino que también significa el de faltar el respeto y la dignidad de una persona. Quisiera concluir con esta frase y hacer énfasis en esto y decir a todos los trabajadores y trabajadoras que el robo de salario es ilegal y no importa su estatus migratorio usted tiene derecho a un pago justo y a condiciones laborales según bajo la ley y muchas gracias por estar aquí ok, now it's Nancy Fernandez from <laughs> Community Resource Center of America Hi everyone, um, my name is Nancy Fernandez and I work at the Community Resource Center. I'm a worker um, case manager of the center. So today I'm going to be talking about OSHA. Many of you um, don't know what OSHA means, but I'm going to be reading in English and Spanish. First in English and then in Spanish. OSHA, Occupational Safety and Health administration. The OSHA training program provides training for workers and employers on the recognition, of avoidance, abatement, and prevention of safety and health hazards in the workplace. The program also provides information regarding workers' rights, employer responsibilities, and how to file a complaint. To minimize accidents at the workplace, Alianza is committed to provide OSHA training to protect our worker members and their employers. To date, over 1,649 members of the Alliance have been obtained OSHA 10 construction training in OSHA 10 general industry. <laughs> yeah. Our co collaboration as an Alliance is also to train OSHA trainers. We, as an alliance, have to, the honor to have four authorized OSHA trainers. <laughs> um, ahora lo voy a decir en español. Um, el programa de 
capacitación de OSHA, preparación, capacitación para los trabajadores y empleadores sobre el recon reconocimiento, la evitación y la reducción de, de la prevención de riesgos para la seguridad y la salud en los lugares de trabajo. El programa también proporciona información sobre los derechos de los trabajadores, las responsabilidades del empleador y cómo presentar una queja. Para minimizar los accidentes en el lugar de trabajo, Alianza se compromete a, compro a se proporcionar entrenamientos de OSHA para proteger a nuestros trabajadores y sus empleadores. Hasta la fecha, más de 1,649 miembros de la, de la Alianza han obtenido entrenamiento de OSHA 10, Industria de la Construcción y OSHA 10 de Industria General. Nuestra colaboración como Alianza también es entrenar instructores de OSHA. Nosotros como Alianza tenemos el honor de tener cuatro entrenadores autorizados para la OSHA. And finally, uh, from the hometown of Port Chester is Anne Heakin and Gonzalo Cruz from Don Bosco Workers. to serve as the president of the board for the Don Bosco Workers. I'm also the executive director for the Don Bosco Community Center. And I think it's been mentioned at least once this morning uh, the importance of workers being paid a fair, a fair salary uh, given that we are Westchester County and we are an affluent county. Uh, but there's another side of that story, which is that economic development, which is so crucial to Westchester County and many other counties across the United States, economic development is not possible if you have a quarter, 20 to 25 percent of your workforce, your labor force, who are working and who are not receiving the legal wage or are not receiving overtime. And the reason that that uh, ends up affecting and impacting all of us is that it comes back to us in the form of increased taxes because of increased social service needs in the community. So anytime somebody cannot pay their rent because their wages have been stolen, or they can't afford groceries because their wages have been stolen, eventually we are all being impacted by that criminality. All right, so this is a, a community problem, this is a county problem, uh, and we like to say that uh, we will not stop uh, as an Alianza, uh, as Don Bosco workers, until Westchester County becomes the first wage theft free zone in the nation. So, como es, buenos días, mi nombre es Gonzalo Cruz, soy el director de Don Bosco Workers Inc. aquí en Port Chester. Pues nosotros estamos en esto, verdad, como Alianza Laboral de Westchester. Queremos que se separen los robos de salarios, el abuso laboral, ¿verdad? Por eso estamos aquí unidos como Alianza Laboral, los cinco centros, ¿verdad? Y el otro mensaje es saber cómo nos afecta en nuestras comunidades el robo de salario, ¿verdad? En que las personas a veces, nuestros miembros, no pueden pagar sus rentas, no pueden pagar sus biles porque fueron robados su salario al final de la semana o de los meses no recibieron su salario. So, por eso estamos aquí unidos como Alianza Laboral para evitar el robo de salario y también para mandar un mensaje que como Alianza Laboral nosotros vamos a querer que Westchester sea un lugar libre de robo de salario, que no haya más robo de salario en Westchester. Gracias y gracias por su participación. our speakers and I, I just like to say that um, everyone who spoke today uh, works hard to fight for low wage workers or against wage theft. It's not glamorous work. Uh, there's no award for it at the end of the year. It's just knowing that you're doing the right thing and they should all be commended for doing the hard work that they do. Um, We'd also like to thank Taryn Gonzalez, a uh, volunteer and the designer of the Alliance logo. <laughs> and 
And so if anybody has any questions for any of the speakers or workers or if someone wants to do a private interview, I think they can speak with Esmeralda and she can set that up. Okay, thank you all for coming.